All right, here we go. Full speed. Uh-oh. 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 We're taking off like a plane. <laughs> this is not the plan. This was not the plan at all. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. This is Scrapman, and bringing you another episode of Besiege. And today we're looking at some more interesting creations in the workshop. And we got some cars today, some really cool looking cars. But we're starting off with this thing. This is apparently completely vanilla. I figured it might be nice to actually use something that is completely vanilla, not using any of the mods or anything like that. And I've already played with this just a little bit, and this thing is really impressive being completely vanilla. So we've got a couple of buttons here that actually are functional. We can open up um, the hood. There we go. Press the wrong button at first. So we can open up the hood. Uh, there's not much of an engine in there, but then again, it's, it's completely vanilla. So what do, you, what, do you, what do you expect? But what is in there is very interesting, as you'll see in just a second. And we can also open up each of the doors as well. So we can do all three of these even at the same time. Uh, all right. So let's actually drive this thing around for a second. I'll show you how this thing works. It drives really, really well. I mean, Com comparatively, I guess. It also has a little bit of like a, a speed boost too, so we can go a little bit faster like this, which is actually a pretty cool idea. Um, one of the wheel, there's two wheels on the back here, so if I press shift, then one of them starts spinning even faster, which gives us an extra little boost here. Let's see what happens if we uh, crash into these mountains here. All right, that's went about as well as I expected. But take a look at what is actually happening under the hood, so to speak. So we've actually got some suspension on this thing, as you can see in the back of there, and also in the in the front, it has some suspension as well. But take a look at the steering. If I go under here, this isn't just your average steering. This is like an actual like whole steering mechanism in here that's really impressive. At least to me, it is super impressive considering how compact and vanilla this thing is. So I, I was really, really impressed to see that. So let's take this thing through some villages and see what we can uh, what we can accomplish with this. Oh, up, oh, up, oh, and we lost a wheel. Yep, we lost a wheel. That's just all right. Apparently, we can't we can't rain destruction in on these villages without raining destruction in on ourselves. Tents might be a little bit less formidable, although they have people with weapons. So we'll see how this goes. We'll see how this goes. Nope, nope, not gonna get me. Not gonna get me. All right, they're gonna get me. Oh wait, no, I'm still going. I'm still going. We got this, no problem. I can't turn very well this way though. Come on, turn, turn, turn. <laughs> We're missing all the tent. All right, we can get this tent. There we go. All right, I think, oh, there goes our other front wheel. We're still going though. We have no steering, but we're still going. Um, yeah, I think we're pretty much, yep, yeah, we're all out. Oh, these are names? Do they tell us the names of the people that we've killed? That's just, that's just sad. All right, so I thought this was pretty cool for a vanilla, a vanilla build, but uh, of course, the modded ones are absolutely insane. So we're gonna take a look at some more modded ones now. But for the record, this one was called Lupo, uh, and in the workshop it's Lupo Vanilla, and it is made by Ilnurium, I think is the name. But good job on that, using just vanilla parts. So we're gonna take a look at this bomber thing. So, I, I don't know why, but it's not letting me download the yellow, the, this yellow thing that it had on it, so we're gonna be using it without that mod pack. But this thing is made by Mohammed312, and it's called the Avro730 Strategic Bomber. So we're gonna see if we can get this thing to, uh, function here. Uh, I don't know if we're in a very good spot. Alright, we've started our engine. Hopefully, which- oh. I guess that answers my question about whether or not we were in a very good spot. I didn't even see that. I was looking at the controls on my other screen. <laughs> oh, that's gonna be funny. Where's the bomb? How did I- Oh, you know what might have happened? One of my own bombs probably exploded me. Alright, what, what are my controls here that- Oh, I see. The bombs are right there, so I think I accidentally hit something. Yeah, we got we gotta face a different way for this one. All right, this should be better, I hope. Left control to start engine, Z to speed up. All right, let's. Why am I turning? I'm not doing that. That shouldn't be happening. Okay, all right, we're going, we're going. We got this. All right, it's uh, I guess I should be holding the speed up button. Why does it keep wanting the pitch down automatically though? All right, so the interesting thing is going to be trying to actually bomb with this thing. I don't know, I don't know what, what the bombing is like. Apparently we just gotta, oh wait, there's landing gear. Left, alt, is that the landing gear? Did we put up, nope, we didn't put up the landing gear yet. 
Oh, I figured it out. It says left alt in the instructions, but it's actually right alt. All right, here we go. Let's uh, let's find our unsuspecting villagers. Here they are. All right, I don't know how many bombs I have. Let's do. Oh, there we go. All right, free cam, please. Did we get it? Hey, we did it. Uh, let's probably get my controls back up. Oh. oh, okay. There we go. Um, looking around while bombing is pretty hard. We're, we're following just some random ballista thing. There it is. Okay. Right, let's let's just try to get a better view of this. I don't like the I'm gonna use free cam the whole time this time. All right, here we go. I just gotta reach my number pad at the right point. All right, and there. Now back, pull up. All right, we got a house. That was good. This is good, and we have our control back. Oh, this is gonna be fun. I actually, I'm enjoying this now. I'm enjoying. The, oh, uh oh, uh oh. I think he might have taken some of our rudders. Yep, he definitely took something. All right, let's get back over our vehicle here. Yeah, we're we're pitching to the right. It's okay. We can we can deal with it. We can deal with this. Uh, all right, what are we going after next? We're gonna go back to the same village. All right, here we go. Come on, you can do this. You can do this. You can do this. I just pressed like all the buttons. Did we get anything? Yes, we got some more stuff. Oh, that is fun. I don't know if we have any more bombs left. Do we? I think we have like a couple left. I don't know which buttons they are though. But we are losing altitude. Gonna speed up a little bit. Okay, all right, I'm getting- oh, okay. I'm getting the hang of it now. We just gotta keep making- making sure that we keep our speed up. All right, here we go. We're going back. I'm just gonna press all my numbers at the same time, and... Uh-oh. Then nothing's happening. All right, I guess- I guess we might have exhausted ourselves. We might have to reload. We might have to- oh, I'm pressing the wrong button. I love the way things just collapse in this game. I feel like I want to actually go for one of these statues over here. Let's see if we can bomb one of these statues. Okay, let's get these pesky archers. And my view is getting a little weird. Yeah, it's really weird now. That That's not going to work. All right, this one should go better. We are going really, really fast though. Where are the archers? All right, they're over here. All right, steady. Nope, turn to the right, please. Why am I not turning to the right very much? Okay, we're doing it. We're doing it. We're doing it. And drop everything. Did we get it? We got him. I gotta get my controls back. No. <laughs> All right, it was a suicide mission, but uh, we still did it. So that was that was really fun. So let's get on to. Um, we got a couple of interesting supercar type things that look amazing that I really want to try out. All right, so here we got the Sunset Aurora, and this is made by Mr. Worm. So we're gonna spawn this thing in. This thing just it looks so epic. Like, this is the kind of stuff I like to see, the stuff that really has a lot of attention to detail. Oh, the tires are a little bit weird. They look very, very flimsy. We'll see how this thing goes, but apparently it has a pretty high top speed. So we're going to see just how fast this thing can go, and I guess it can drift a little bit too. We're going to find out. Whoa, yes, it can drift. It can totally drift, and I'm surprised it didn't- oh, there it goes. I can say I'm surprised it didn't break, but now it's broken. All right, we're gonna still try to keep going. I think all of our function is still there, and apparently there's a boost. Did I break the boost? The boost doesn't seem to be working. Whoa, it's a little. It's a, it has like this weird, like flimsiness on the jumps. Oh, there we go. We've lost our, our door, and we're upside down. All right, we're gonna try this again. Whoa, and we're going way too fast already. All right, all right, here we go. Here we go. All right, I, I'm gonna try to get out of the map to somewhere flat where we can do a little bit of like drag racing or something. Up. Oh. Oh, oh, a little bit of drag racing or something like that, and this was clearly not the right way to go out of the map. Well, let's test this thing in its off-roading abilities while we're here, shall we? It's doing okay so far, surprisingly. I was surprised it's not bottoming out more. Uh, I don't, I don't think we're gonna be able to get up this area though, but we're gonna try. Come on, little car. Come on, you can do it. Oh, he's actually doing it. Holy cow! I did not expect that. Now I kind of want to continue this off-roading journey. Let's see if we can get up onto that bridge. We're going to take this car. All right, let's see what the camera's like. Do we have a first person? Oh, we totally have a first person. All right, we're doing some first person off-road challenge here. And this is actually, the view is terrible, isn't it? Let's go back out of first, oh, yep, yeah, that, that was terrible. That was a bad idea. All right, we can get up this hill though, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure we can make it up this hill if our steering doesn't get completely, oh, our, our right, our left wheel is not doing too well. Not doing very- neither of our front wheels are doing particularly well right now. But the steering seems to be somewhat working, so we're still gonna continue our mission of getting up this hill, and, and I don't know if we're gonna- I, I don't think- I don't think we're gonna be able to do this. Nope. There goes one of our wheels. There it goes. It still works, though. The wheel still works. 
<laughs> We're going upside down. How is this even... How is this even working? How does this thing get around? Clearly this thing is not propelled by wheels alone. Like, am I right? Am I right about that? Alright, I fixed it. Um, it turns out that... It wasn't- I wasn't actually getting the speed boost because it was assigned to the left shift instead of the right shift, so I remapped it to the right shift so I can use the arrow keys and the boost with one hand. So now we are free out in our open area here, and now we're gonna do our shift, and we're gonna get a- What am I hitting? Is that the wall? I thought- Am I on the outside of the wall? Am I outside of the map right now? I don't think that's supposed to be how that works. I didn't know that I could spawn outside of the map. That is funny. Wait, if I could spawn outside of the map, how far can I go in that direction? Alright, so it, what direction is the actual- Alright, it looks like the city's over there. So let's go this way and see how far we can go. I mean, we're- this thing's supposedly- Oh, I see the edge. We're gonna go off the edge. Here we go. Okay, then we're disappearing. We are literally disappearing into nothingness. I'm gonna try to zoom in here. Wow! It's even like, it, it's like we're transparent almost. It's, it's tinted us into like a ghost of what we used to be. Alrighty then. Is this inbounds? Am I inbounds now? Can I, can I play with the, can I play with the big boys? At the table? Up, oh, nope, nope, not yet. We still gotta go a little bit further. Am I inbounds? I think I spawned in the wall. Yep, that's definitely the wall. <laughs> what happens if I put god mode on and spawn in the wall? Alright, here we go. Well, that didn't help. How about this? Am I on the inside now? There we go, now we're, now we're no longer spawning inside the wall. Alright, so let's take this thing around and actually drift with it now. Alright, we got our speed going. This thing is- whoa, this thing is going super fast. Alright, and drift around the corner. Drift around the corner. Oh, it's the wheels like they look like the wheels are gonna just totally come off Oh, we have god mode on let's turn that off just in case just in case we have any epic crashes. Oh, we just missed the wall We just missed the wall. We're going all the way around the edge of the map. This thing is so fast right now All right, go on turn 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 look at this drift look at this drift. This is epic. This is so epic Oh, man, can we use that as a jump? I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get to it in time. All right, come on, and drift this way, drift this way. No, we're gonna miss it. Oh, we're on it, we're on it. Uh oh, all right, now we're, now we're screwed. Wait, we can still, this thing is behaving very strangely. Let's stop for a sec. All right, can we get up the mountain? Come on, you could, apparently it's a flying car as well. Didn't I turn God mode off? Why am I not braking? I'm- I'm confused right now. We're gonna go on, we have one more supercar to look at, and this one also looks really epic. I don't know how it behaves though, we're gonna find out. Alright, this thing is pretty laggy, so we're gonna have to lower our speed a little bit here. Which is unfortunate for a supercar, but... Wait, that doesn't look right. Something- what's- This doesn't look right at all. Hold on a sec. What is this? How does that work? All right, I'm a, I'm gonna go with it anyway, but let's take it the, the look of this thing is absolutely amazing. Like this thing looks super cool. Are those actually like lighting up? They're doing some weird stuff on my screen. I don't know what this stuff's all about though. There's something underneath the ground. Apparently it turns by reaction. Uh, forces, so that's odd. It's got like little spin- oh, it actually has spinners! This thing actually has spinner rims, that's insane, that's awesome! The back one isn't working though, why aren't the back ones spinning? Oh, I'm sorry, I hit the fruit stand! Just like in every action movie, I hit the fruit stand, I'm so sorry, he must be so mad. That was an accident. Right control to drift. What makes it drift? Oh, look at the drift! Oh, we went out of the ground. I don't know if we were supposed to go out of the ground like that. Oh, and we're falling apart. We are completely <laughs> falling apart. <laughs> oh no, this is awesome. Oh, look everything just go- what happened? Whoa! Alright, that part was a little bit weird. 
Um, let's respawn this thing. Um, too bad we're only at 60% speed, though. I wish we could go to its fullest potential. Here, let's try this again. Um, apparently we can use shift to boost, so let's see what our boost does. If we can survive. Alright, we're not surviving anything. Oh, there's our boost! Our boost was a cannon that shot us into a pillar, and we just exploded. Uh, let's do what we did with the other one. Let's spawn at the edge of the map and see if that helps us out. That's not the edge of the map I was talking about. Alright, this is more like it. Alright, here we go. So, how fast can we go? Oh, our, our frames are definitely low here. This is at 89%. Look how fast this thing would be going. Holy cow, this thing would be going so fast. Alright, slow down again, slow down again. Alright, we're at 60% now. We got some okay frames now. Alright, and I feel like, did we already- no, we're still okay. Yeah, we're still okay. Okay, so let's do our boost again. Do we have infinite ammo on? We have infinite ammo. That's what it recommends for our boost. Alright, here is our boost. Oh my goodness, this is too fast. Our game can't even handle it. Let's slow down, slow down. No, I can't, it's not letting me- We went too fast for the game. Let's just- Let's let's try this again. I'm gonna go down to 30% speed and we're gonna see how fast the boost will make us go at 30% speed. Look how slow this thing is going right now. Okay, boost. Come on. Hold it. Hold it. Alright, we're picking up some speed now. We are picking up some speed now. Uh-oh. I press control to drift and I'm going the direction I don't want to go. Oh, we're gonna go into the wall. No, we're going into the wall. Oh, look at that explosion. That is amazing. Oh, this is fantastic. I'm gonna bring myself over to this ramp here, and we are going to boost off the top of this ramp, and see how far we can go, and see what kind of destruction we get when we land. If we land. Totally drifting. Oh, don't tip, don't tip, don't tip, don't tip, don't Keep going, keep going, tip back, yes. 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 Okay, we nailed that. We got we got back. That's good. All right, we can do this. this sir. Oh, no, we lost some of our steering. That's okay. We don't need to steer when we're in the air. All right, come on. Go forward. Just a little bit. Yep, there we go. All right, now this is a pretty steep pretty steep angle, so hopefully we don't break going up here. I know you have low ground clearance, but just just bear with me. Oh, that was a little bit a little bit wonky. All right, here we go. Full speed. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. We're taking off like a plane. <laughs> this is not the plan. This was not the plan at all. Oh no, this is not what I meant to do. <laughs> oh, there goes part of, part of our wheel. Um. All right, that didn't work out at all like I planned. Nope. There it goes. There it goes. One last ditch thing, one final thing, we're just gonna speed as fast as we can straight to whatever is underneath this archway and do an epic crash into something. We're gonna go into even more slow-mo as we pick up speed here. Oh, there's some jagged rocks. There is some jagged rocks. Let's go ahead and slow this down a little bit more. And here we go! Oh, yeah. That is what I'm talking about. That is what I'm talking about. Oh, that is so epic. Oh, I love it. Well, as all these pieces rain down onto the land, we might even kill some villagers with these things. Uh, let me know what you guys thought of the episode. Hope you did enjoy. Make sure you're subscribed if you want to see more fun gaming content like this. And if you want to be part of the Scrapper Discord, then uh, check the link down in the description below. I check in there at least once a day if I, if I can with all you guys and have a little chat every so often. So yeah, I had a great time. Hope you guys did too. This has been Scrapman, and I'll see you Scrappers next time. Bye. <laughs> Welcome to the end screen. Well, you'll probably click away before I get to tell you to subscribe for more fun. And if you really like me, but like not in a creepy way, support me on Patreon. Oh yeah, check out this awesome video I made over here. It's probably even better than this one. Or it might be worse, actually. But if you don't click it, I guess you'll never know.